Welcome back to Good Moms, Bad Choices. I'm Erica. And I'm Mila. And it's Wednesday, hoes. What up, bitches? Hey, bitches. How- what up? Hi. Hey, bitch. Hi. Hey, best friend. Hey, girl. What's going on? Um, Nothing. I feel like I haven't been here with you in a while. I know. It's been a minute, and it's time. It's time to, it, to just let it rip. Let it rip. <laughs> um, it's been like six weeks or more that we've recorded that I've seen you in these chairs, my love. I know. I, I know. missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I was thinking yesterday, I was like, I invited someone over for dinner. I invited Elizabeth over for dinner. Oh, she came? She didn't. Oh. But um, I was thinking, I was like, huh, was, I wonder if I if I could invite Erica over for dinner and we could like not work. <laughs> Good luck. I'm like, I'm like, we'd have to have a real strict boundary. I'm like, like are we friends still? We'd have to have Orlando there to like be like, stop it. Orlando would get it. Shut up. He'd be like, right into it. I'm like, but we have to retreat. <laughs> Did you see this email? Did you see the email? Did you respond? Remind me to do this. <laughs> we'd be texting each other about work, but talking regular in front like, of each like, other. Does Orlando, does he, does he, can you tell? No. <laughs> um yeah i miss you i miss you too oh my god our shirt looks so good on you you like it oh yeah you guys if you're not on youtube now's the time i'm wearing our hot drop called heel first hoe later i'm really proud of this this is like i'm really proud of this drop i thought of it i was like i don't know where i was in the shower i have a lot of like my philosophical high thoughts in the shower and i was like yes that's it heel first hoe later I'm like that's going to be the money maker <laughs> You know, it's accurate. I, I, I 100% stand by this statement, your shower highness moment. I get really deep in the shower when I'm high, just so you guys know. Um, I realized, like, the weed makes us philosophical. In fact, I told Orlando this morning, I was like, I have a new segment, and it shall be called Philosophical High Moments. <laughs> and every time I sound really smart and high, just, in, just insert, like, a special song. Because, you know, I was going to say... The problem is, is that when we get high, we say philosophical shit and then we forget what it was. That's how I thought of it because I was in the shower thinking some really <laughs> philosophical thoughts. I was like, oh, you're so deep. And then I was like, huh, I wish there was a music here right now. I was like, that's what we need in the show. <laughs> and I was like, Orlando, come, come quick. The amount of, like, as we were writing this book too, I'm like, I know I'm smart. I know I've said smart things. It's hard to write Where smart things. Where the fuck are my smart thoughts if when we, I need them? If we had inserted philosophical high thoughts earlier, earlier we would have a list of them. <sighs> God, I know. I, I can only think of so many things at a time, okay? I'm over here trying to like really think like on the spot. I'm like, God, it's so much better when I'm high. I, I know, it's, it is. It only works when I can't high. write when I'm high. So then it's just, it doesn't work. I know, I know. And, um, this book writing has been has really challenged my vocabulary. Oof. And this, I've never used a synonym fucking Google search more in my life. Same. <laughs> and I was questioning my 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 smarts. I was like, damn, am I smart? I wish. And I my plan was to go back. You are and, smart. I read your chapters. You're very smart. Oh, you did read them? Oh, we, we read, read them together. together. Yeah. I was like, wow, my friend's so smart. <sighs> really? I was like, wow, she's so funny. Do I need to make more jokes? <laughs> it's like, fuck, I wish I could write some funnier jokes. <laughs> I was like trying to <laughs> wait. Oh my god! I was. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was reading my chapters. I deleted it because I was like, I was really pushing it. And <laughs> do you know what I wrote? Oh god! I wrote. I'm gonna cry. I wrote. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was activated like Jerry Curl Juice. Like <laughs> <laughs> what? Please tell me you deleted this. Like Jerry Curl Juice. I was like, like Jerry Curl. Like Activator? <laughs> like Jerry Curl. I read that. Wow, and I, you're really trying to appeal to the black people. I was so hard. I was like, bitch, <laughs> why? I am black. I am Jamila and I am black. When I read that, I was like, bitch, no. I was like, where state was I when I wrote this? <laughs> I was serious. It was typed out and everything. So. Wow. You were so funny that I made bad jokes. To try and get- Whoa, I'm over here trying to sound smarter. Oh my goodness. I also thought I was going to go back and listen to all of our episodes and write down all of our philosophical high moments, but I don't have any fucking time. Mm-mm. No, it just have to it'll it's it's all it's done now. The book is done, guys. So, it is what it is. <laughs> and it's going to be great. It's going to be so great, and the more I read it, the more I'm like, this is great. Yeah. And um yeah, that's what we've been working on. So, this is an update. Hi everyone. This is an update. <laughs> Um, Erica and I haven't seen each other in weeks, and so we have a lot of updating to do with each other, and hence you shall listen. (laughs) Hmm. 
Should we take a deep breath together? Yeah, we should. Okay, everyone, take a deep breath. Release. <sighs> Let's do it one more time. Hold. Maybe at least for sound, because that feels really good. <sighs> and then the moans. Mm -hmm. I forget to take a second. Just go, 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 go all the time. All the fucking time. All the time we're going. But you took some time. You took some time to decompress. Jamila went away to Mexico for a month and left me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Left me. Um, but it's fine. She's back now. But I, she told me she was going because she needed to work on the foundation of her relationship. And I like about three weeks and I was like, bitch, is the foundation secured? Because First of all, those were Orlando's words. It was a good dis description, but <laughs> he gave me those words and I guess I used them. Also, towards the end of the trip, I could, I could hear the hostility in your voice. And I was like, huh, I think she's pissed. <laughs> When are you coming back? I was like, bitch, you know when I'm coming back. You have the itinerary. I was like, I don't see it in our calendar, so I don't know. Remind me again. What are the dates? Because because it's been weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, I did. I, I I felt the need to take a full month because earlier this year, I just figured when the last time we, the first time we went to Costa Rica, I was like, these are the type of trips we need to take, and I knew that unless I just put my foot down and booked it, it wouldn't happen. And so you know my. My very get shit done boyfriend made it happen, and probably without him, I would have flaked on myself. But yeah, I, I went away for a month without my wife to reestablish some independence to code depend on somebody else. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of codependence, maybe I really am because Orlando told me in the, be <laughs> the beginning of the trip. He goes, "Listen." <laughs> I know I make all the decisions, but we're in a foreign country and I'm gonna need you to take make some decisions too. I was like, I know, I'm an adult, you know I'm a mom. He's like, how about this? We'll do Monday, I'll make decisions. Tuesday, you make decisions. Wednesday, I'll make decisions. Thursday, you make decisions. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we both make decisions. And so that was the um, that was just like the format of the decision making. And I was like, wow, how sad that my boyfriend has to give us days or else I'm just going to be like, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. I don't care. But then he makes a decision. You have 40,000 opinions about the decision. Yeah. I was on the phone with Jamila yesterday and she was literally irate at Orlando's cooking skills. She was like bossing him around about sauces and shit. Granted, he did put sauces on a cutting board, which was really confusing, but... <laughs> It was I was for, plate, for plating purposes. Like, nigga, we're about to eat this right now. She's I like, I need the sauces to pour over the rice. There's not enough sauce. What about tomorrow? Add water. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Like, I think I'm totally chill. And then I hear myself talk and I'm like, you're nut. <laughs> I was like, you're crazy. Like, I am, a, I am like a OCD chill. So, like, I'm cool until I don't like something. And then I get really crazy. But what really happened was I edited eight chapters of our 10 chapter book and then didn't save it. And so my whole day was ruined. And so it, uh, poor Orlando cooking me dear dinner just got the, got the, the brute end of it because I was pissed how he made the sauce that I didn't want to cook. <laughs> anyway, I'm totally fine now. <laughs> um, yeah, Mexico was really beautiful. Um, to be completely honest, like, it did solidify the relationship, even though we've been in a relationship for six months, <laughs> because I'd be in denial. And like, um, I was like, I was in it, but I was just like, mm, whatever. And then he kept telling people he was moving to LA and moving in. And every time he said it, I was like, oh God, oh God, <laughs> stop saying that. <laughs> And he's like, forever. And I was like, oh. But then after Mexico, I, f I don't feel that way anymore. I don't get like hot sweats every time he says like some very long term word like forever or like marriage or like moving in. So I would say it was a success. Um, you, wrote a, you wrote me a very sweet uh, message when I left. And you're like, I know you were there <laughs> crying and deep staring into each other's eyes. And that was very accurate. <laughs> Very accurate. Me and Orlando do a lot of staring at each other and a lot of crying about how happy we are and how much we're in love. So that's mostly what um, Mexico consisted of. That plus a few questionable drug deals on my end. Um, <laughs> 
we had a couple fights, but you know, like a couple run ins with the cartel, couple run ins with the cartel, but nothing crazy. We're here. We made it. Um, speaking of our speaking of our arguments, which we really don't argue, but the other day, Luna randomly, like no reason for this question, asked me about um, this guy I was dating. I was like, what happened with so and so? And I was like, what the hell kind of child do I have? And I was like, we didn't get along. I was like, we didn't get along. We argued a lot. And she was like, one thing about him, he talked a lot. <laughs> I was like, he did talk a lot, girl. That's my little Scorpio moon. She was like, I he talked her. a lot. Actually, she said, one thing about him, he talked a lot. I was like, that is accurate. She's like, that's, she's like, that's, she's like, yeah, you and Orlando argue, but like, you argue nice. I was like, wow, this is an observant seven year old. She's like, it's always, she like even gave an example. She's always like, yeah, okay. I was like, wow. Okay. I was like, that's true. We do argue nice if we're going to argue. So I was like really grateful for her observation and like our ability to have this conversation. So that was nice. Um, okay, but back to Mexico and the couple of drug deals that may have could have gone really wrong. So <laughs> um, like maybe the first week we went out, probably forcing it because there's nothing really going on. And <clears throat> we get to a bar and this guy, we're like, of course I brought weed in nature's pocket because I can't leave the country without weed and have to wonder where I'm going to find it for the first nature's three days. Nature's pocket is pussy for those that don't understand. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn how, join Discord. <laughs> um, and we're running out of weed. And so, you know, if you've ever been to Mexico, you know, people offer you weed and drugs and things. So a young boy came up at the bar and I was like, oh, you know, I got weed. Da -da -da. I was like, oh, okay, like, I want some of that. Let me see it. So he like pulled it out. I was like, cool. And uh, Orlando had just taken out money from the ATM. So I just knew we had money. And so I rolled it up. I tried it. I was like, cool. And I was like, he's like, oh, I don't have enough money. I was like, okay, go to the ATM. So I told the guy like, he's going to go with you to the ATM. So I'm waiting at the bar smoking. And he comes back and Orlando's sweating. <laughs> They've been going like 15 minutes. Orlando comes like sweating profusely. And I'm like, he's like, all the ATMs are are like out of service. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like talking to the guy. I'm like, how much do we owe you? I'm like, how much money do we have? So we're short. So me and the guy are like going back and forth. Orlando's like, give him back the weed. Give him the weed back. The guy doesn't speak good English. I can only do so much Spanish speaking and drug deals. And I was like, can I meet you tomorrow? And he, Orlando's like, give him back the weed. I'm like, well, he, then the guy goes, blah, 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 cartel. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> Orlando's yelling at me. Give him back the weed. I said, Orlando, I smoked the weed. <laughs> I smoked it. He's like, why would you do I was like, I'm like, you don't need to argue with me while I'm arguing with him. <laughs> did you hear the, I know you don't speak Spanish, but did you hear cartel, nigga? <laughs> I'm fucking about to curse him out. The guy's writing me and I was I'm high as shit. <laughs> So I'm like, how much money do we have, Orlando? So there was like, maybe he wanted 2,000 pesos. We had like 1,500. I was like, listen, this is what we have. Orlando will not let go of the money. He's like, this is for the cab. I was like, Orlando, we will get the fuck up. He's like, so mad arguing with me. In my head, I'm like, has he never been in a drug deal? <laughs> like, the guy is giving us 500 pesos off, and this is all we have. Give me the fucking money. We'll figure out the cab later. Anyway, the guy takes the 1,500 pesos. Orlando's... I was like, look, I shouldn't have smoked the weed before we gave him the money. However, <laughs> do you understand fucking cartel? <laughs> do you understand? You, did you hear that? He's like, he's fuming. I was like, we will get in the cab and we will find an ATM. I don't care if we have to fucking drive to Cancun to find it. We will find the ATM. <laughs> so me and he's pissed with me. <laughs> but I still want to have a good time, kind of. <laughs> so he's like clearly has an attitude and like i don't orlando's like so the kindest guy i've ever dated but his attitudes are like a fucking evil old mean jamaican aunt of some sort like he cannot have an attitude so he's like i'm like he's like i'm like do you want to go he's like no and then he's like actually i do want to go and i was like fuck so then i then i order another drink you're a bitch <laughs> i was gonna drink it quick i was like fuck i'm about to go home and argue i might as well drink real quick <laughs> Anyway, we argue all the way back home, and I'm like, we were fine the next day. He, like, yelled at me, and I was, like, crying. <laughs> I was like, I'm a sensitive bitch. He's never yelled at me before. <laughs> anyway, I really feel like my argument was valid because we almost got fucking got by the cartel over 500 fucking pesos because I smoked weed before I gave the guy the cash. 
you both you both fucked up we did you both uh, fucked up you don't do the drugs before the drug transaction is over well and you don't withhold the money from the cartel <laughs> when we have the money <laughs> And he's giving us a discount. But he might have fucking shanked you. I know. And Orlando's going to let him shake me. You know, they don't, they don't give a fuck out there. I know. He And all I can think is his boss is going to come down on him and they're going to tell him where we're at. And then it's over. <laughs> and then on like the second time I tried to do a drug deal. Just didn't learn your lesson? We needed to smoke. Okay. So we were at, I love calling it a drug deal and it's just we, um, we were at a, it was, <laughs> we are at a, like a, a day party and this guy had the cool shirt. I was like, that guy has a cool shirt. I'm going to talk to him. I'm like, oh, hey, cool shirt. He's like, oh, hey, my man. Yeah, like, I got it right there. I was like, you have weed? He's like, oh, yeah, I could shoot weed. He's my friend. We start talking. His name is Sunshine. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, Sunshine. He's like, oh, yeah, my friend's going to pull up in an hour with $100 worth of weed. I'm like, cool. So anyway, the guy is taking a long time. We have to go. I was like, listen, I'm a witch. Meet up with me tonight at 11-11 or else. <laughs> He's like, I'm a shaman, mommy. Don't even talk to me like this. I was like, all right, sunshine. I'm going to meet up with you later. I was like, Orlando, let's go. He's like, what about your shit? I was like, it's cool. It's time to be in sunshine. I trust 11, him. 11, don't it's worry. Like, I trust him. We go home. What do I do? I fall asleep. And Orlando doesn't wake me up for my 11, 11 drug deal meet. <laughs> so I'm chasing fucking sunshine for weeks in Mexico. He's like, mommy, mommy, I'm in Playa. I'm going to come right back. Don't worry. You can trust me. I can say, Mommy, I find a beautiful Italian woman. I can't come back. He sends me a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you have my money. He's like, I gave you jewelry. Don't worry. He had made jewelry, so he gave me some jewelry. He's like, when I said I'll be back, he's like, here, take this as like collateral. It should probably cost $2. For sure it did. <laughs> Not collateral. It was like a little spoon. It was like, I bought Ashley one. <laughs> so then he, so then we leave to Bacalar, and then he calls me on my birthday. I'm in the room alone. He calls me. He's like on FaceTime. He's like, happy birthday, happy birthday. Even though he owes me $100, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't worry, mommy. As soon as you get back to Tulum, I got you. I was like, okay. I was like, <laughs> Orlando, I already knew he was thinking like, bitch, you're dumb. <laughs> when I went outside, I was like, by the way, Orlando, Sunshine called me for my birthday. <laughs> He's like, what'd he say? I was like, he's gonna meet me as soon as we get back. And he's saying me happy birthday. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Never saw sunshine again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sunshine spent that money real quick that day. <laughs> anyway, it was on his very... Italian lover. <laughs> <laughs> $100 to get you a long way in Mexico, too. But, you know, I learned some lessons to so listen to my man. Don't give strangers your money. Don't buy maybe drugs from the Mexican cartel. Um, you know, I discovered I'm in, like, I knew I was an actress, but I'm level 10 actress because Orlando and I just had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of role playing sex and it just really upped my level of actress skills. And um, yeah, I feel like now I'm like the um, tantric sex coach of the year and I could just revive any sex life just through, just through role playing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some of the roles that we played were primal animalistic lions. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Also, we were, um, uh, what else? I was Jade from the whorehouse. And he had a girlfriend named Mila. He's been seeing me. He took me to Mexico. He's catching feelings. It's not well, but the sex is great. Oh, his girlfriend's Mila, but you're Jade. You're his side bitch. Yeah. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. Um, and I'm just showing him things he's never been shown before. Wow, Mila really needs to step up her fucking game. I know. That's what I said. <laughs> um, also... Um, you know, I my favorite fantasy of all time, like a naughty, naughty girl with like some stepdaddy. Stepdaddy issues. Yeah, he was stepdaddy. And like Orlando's like such an actor. As soon as I say something, he's like right into role. Oh, yeah. I'll, in New Orleans, he was a <laughs> little country boy. We were at the club. <laughs> I forgot about this. We were at the club and I just hear Orlando like, yeah, baby. We <laughs> Yeah, baby, like, wait till I get home, baby. Yeah, little shorty. And I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? And I just hear Jamila's in the corner like, yeah. just like giggling. And he's like, yeah, little baby. <laughs> and she's like, he's pleased we're role playing. Look, the whole night I look over and he's still little baby in her. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And then I, I, like the next morning I was like, so how'd it go? She's like, yeah, he committed. And then, and then like a week later, she's like, yeah, he did it again. And we're, we're still, we're still doing the new He brought ones. him back to he California. Brought him back so. to California. <laughs> yeah. So, and then, yeah. Um, I've also, I was also like the, the witchy woman in our tribe, but he was the tribe hunter. We did that one. 
Lots of role playing was fun. It was very fun. Lots of deep staring. We went to Bacalar for my birthday and did mushrooms. And like Bacalar is the most one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It's like this eighty mile blue lagoon with like barely any fish in it. So it's very still. Um, my wife bought me a sailboat ride, me and Orlando, and like I see pictures. I think I'm like, are you butt naked on the boat? She's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that sailor is in for a treat. The sailor and his help. <laughs> Yesenia. <laughs> yeah, well, I got out the boat and I was like, I'm taking off my shirt. And then we got back on the boat. He's like, you're not putting it back on, are you? I was like, nope. <laughs> and he's going to get the memo as soon as I get back on the boat topless. <laughs> Everybody survived. You want that? I don't know how much that boat ride was, but I'm sure it was expensive. I'll take these titties out. Um, but it was beautiful. We did mushrooms and cried and stared into each other's eyes some more. And I had like a very deep epith epiphany that um, I feel like a lot of people forget, like when, like in love and in relationships. And it was just like, oh, he's human. <laughs> like humanizing my lover that like he's flawed. He's not going to read my mind. He's not going to like check off all like, I think sometimes we envision our lovers, how they're like supposed to like ride at like, not like on a white horse, but it's gonna be like this. When you meet them, they're going to check every box and you'll just know. Right. They're going to appear a certain way. They're going to look a certain way. They're going to have a good style and fashion. So they're going to like all these things, you know, and it's just, it's just not realistic. And like, I just humanized him and I was like, wow, I'm falling in love with a flawed, perfect human being. And I love that. And I think that was like a, a shift. Um, we were just like very honest. We did a lot of communicating um, that time after the bad drug deal, after he yelled at me and I cried. He's like, are you crying? I was like, I just think I'm about to start my period. I don't like when people yell at me. <laughs> I've had a lot of relationships where people were yelling. <laughs> like this bitch is crazy. It's true. I'm, it's like, true. I'm like, I'm like, am I a battered woman? I'm like, is he gonna hit me? <laughs> like, I know he's not gonna hit me, but like any level of aggression, I'm like. Um, but he's like, then he's like, I'm sorry. It holds me. It was very healthy, growth oriented arguing. Like, like Luna said, we were nice arguing, and yeah, there was, it just was a beautiful trip, and it solidified a lot of things for me, and like settled a lot of my worry and my stress and um, realizing that I stress about shit that's not real and um, that I've given a lot of men chances that weren't worthy. So this is a good time to start giving a worthy man a chance. And so I released a lot of my um, subconscious hangups about just long-term shit. And even though Orlando's been telling me for three months when he left a 40 pound duffel bag at my house that he was moving in, I finally really accepted it in real life. <laughs> Got it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you did a lot of growing in that month and it was really important. It, it really was. And Erica and I completed and turned in a 65,000 word memoir. <laughs> and I cried like a fucking baby after I just like pushed send and I was like, I didn't cry. I, that was the thing. I was, I was like, am I supposed to cry? I'm, I should be crying, right? Well, Orlando told me to. And then I was like, you're right. I should cry. But I cried later. I cried like a few days later. I was like in the kitchen and I just like broke down. Like finally I was alone. Like Irie was gone. And then I just cried for like an hour. And I was like, oh. it was like I had a delayed response. response. Yeah. Girl, we do a lot of shit all the time. And I think it's like we, we know that this book has been in the works for like a year and a half. Ish. You know, it's like from the proposal to the signing of the publisher with Harper Collins to the editing. You know, it's it's a long process, and um, I we've been we've you know obviously we're excited about it, but like actually turning it in, it's really triggering. I mean, we're we're, we're recounting parts of our past that we've kind of put what well, we have we've put behind us, and that maybe we haven't really really dissected our childhood. I mean, even though we talk about a lot of these things on the show, like we kind of like don't, we, we just touch the surface of it. We don't really pen, like get deep, deep, deep. And that's like what this book is, is really kind of getting to know us and how we've come to be this almost. And like, I really had to dig and be like, how did I become this? <laughs> like, I've just been not like just been like moving forward in this space and just like letting it flow and not really like going back and being like, why did I do this? Why do I do this? And actually the book has been really healing for me in ways and trying to even dissect my relationship with 
my dad, with my mom, with my relationship with men, the men I've chosen, the men I'm choosing now, and even like the humanizing too, like of men too, and like knowing what, why is it like, what are my toxic traits? Why, what are they like truly? What is my role in all of this? Because it's easy to point the finger and say, you did this and this is why I'm a single mom and this is what happened and my dad didn't show up for me and da 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 da, you know? It's like, well, what did I do? You know? And that shit is kind of fuck scary. And like, <laughs> I was avoiding it. Like, I would sit down and write and I'm like, I'm tired. I can't do it today. I would I'd get fatigued immediately. Immediately. It was like writing, a, it's, it was like school, <clears throat> but like the light, school of life. <laughs> but I'm really, I'm really happy that. We completed it. We had to, or else I don't know what they were going to do, like sue us or something. I don't know. For sure, sue us. <laughs> <laughs> we spent the money. Like, what? Um, no, it, it's it's been so beautiful. And Orlando's like, how do you feel? Orlando's like super aggressive, observant. Like, I know he your... sent me a video. He's like, Jamila, tell er tell Erica why you love her. <laughs> and Jamila's in bed. She's like, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I was super. And then I'm like, oh my god, I'm so happy that he asked her this question. I'm like crying. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, he doesn't, Jamila doesn't even know he sent me this. I did it. <laughs> I forgot I recorded it. We're going to put it on Patreon so you can see my deep, intimate, high answers and my deep ass boyfriend asking me deep ass questions. And he's like, what do you want to say to your tribe? And I was like, you're asking me a lot of questions right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, this, this piece of work that we're about to dispel into the universe is, um, truly a labor of love and truly a testament of our growth. And I know that I've grown, but really writing it out in chapters is, is amazing. And like, honestly, the change, you know, like the shifts, the transformation, like it's, it's God sent. And I can only just like, I can only accredit it for starting here, you know, just like just talking and then writing as a different level of releasing and just really reflecting on where we started and how it, how it started and how it's going. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had so much sex in Mexico. Like so much sex. Like so, 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 so much sex. <laughs> So, 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 so much stuff. You better have shit. I know. Oh my God. Do you remember that time I went to Mexico with the Adventure Bay and I was bitching the whole time because he, we had sex like three times? I told her. Oh God. Thank God. You finally have met your sexual match. Thank fucking God for change. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. How dare he not fuck me in a week long sex vacation? Anyway, this vacation was a sexcation. Um, oh yeah, what I wanted to like, we did a lot of animalistic, like primal play, and um, let me just show you how that goes. Okay. If, okay. If, oh my god, I can't wait. Yeah. Are, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna come over there. I think it's better if I'm closer. Oh, to okay, you. come on. <laughs> feel okay. Feel free to get into it. Okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you screaming? It was so loud. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Like bark? <laughs> ruff, ruff. Let me do it with Orlando. <laughs> ruff, ruff. Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, so odd, but Orlando works for us now. So he's here while I'm talking about him so intimately. But I kind of turned my shoulder so I can't see him. <laughs> okay. But do you want to come over here and exam exemplify? <laughs> Come on, come on, come come on set, baby. Because Orlando, because Erica couldn't get it. <laughs> Don't judge me. that's what you wanted me to do yeah. i was supposed to get that memo what the fuck i told you to get into your prime bitch self I, I you've you've obviously trained each other like i don't i didn't i don't know what no that's fuck? the most beautiful part about it we didn't train each other we just start doing it and then it just rolls out okay well wow this is where our this is where our disconnect comes <laughs> <laughs> this is what's exposed okay well you should try it anyway he like there was a point where, like his dick fell out of my pussy and i was like <laughs> 
pulling it back in. So no words, just sounds. No words, Got just it. sounds. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so there was a lot of that. It was really tantric and primal. At one point, <laughs> we did this a few times. We still do it. So at one point, and it's been crazy. As soon as he like growls or like purrs, I'm ready. But at one point, he had like had a lamb shank for dinner the night before, and he <laughs> I saw this photo he posted on Close Friends. Yeah, and he no, was it Close Friends or Discord? I think it was in Discord. Oh yeah, it was Discord. Yeah, and he was like eating the end of the leftovers, and then so he just fucked me with the bone in his mouth. Well. <laughs> Wow, um, purring and growling. Join Discord to see this epic image. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, we have like a, a couple, yeah, a couple of things in there. Wait, but all this, uh, how how did you maintain your pussy this whole time? All the fucking, oh, all the sexing, bitch. V vitamins. Oh, I maintained my yeah. pussy because I took V vitamins with me, and every time I was getting a little crazy, I was like, boop, <laughs> boop, it's V vitamin time, <laughs> V vitamin time, and I literally was like having so much sex but then just popping it in during the day or at night like right after pussy's perfect the chef's kiss you know it really is i because you know i think i told you like me and my what am i going to call him scorpio bay i was i would free man bay i wanted to call him dread bay like <sighs> freckle bay i don't know the thing is we could call him because it's not it doesn't really say whether or not i guess like his name <laughs> what the fuck why would i give his name because it's it's like a bay name but it's his name okay. just because he has an interesting name doesn't mean it's not his name okay it should well be a bay. okay it should be well a what are you gonna call him? i don't know soulmate bay okay soulmate bay yeah we had like five hours of sex my pussy was i thought it was broken like legit i was like i couldn't even put like my finger inside of it and so V vitamins literally popped it in the night before or like after that. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm here for I was in New York. This is actu actually after when Mila went to Mexico. I took the kids to Mexico, another part of Mexico. And then it was a vacation for us. And then I was like, that's not a vacation for me. I need a vacation. So I literally dropped them in Mexico back home. And then two days later, I went to New York to see my boo and we got it in and the pussy was broken. But then it was unbroken because of V vitamins, because I was like, I have one more day here. It can't be broken. Like I, my nigga doesn't live in my city. Like it has to, this has to work. So if you guys haven't tried V vitamins, you do need to try them. They're for pH balance. It's for smell. It's for swollen pussy. <laughs> it's for swollen pussy. After your period, it's great. Like it just literally restores the natural balance of your vagina. And it's woman owned. It's black owned. And it's the bomb. Yes. Shout out to V vitamins. Like after day three, I was like, how am I going to maintain 30 days with, <laughs> at this rate? And I was like, oh, I know. My little friend. <laughs> vitamins. So, yeah, if you guys, um, lucky for us, Annie is our homegirl. And lucky for you, you can get a discount when you use GMBC10 at checkout. Or you can click the link in this episode des description to have purified pussy today. Purified pussy? You like that? Oh, I'm mm. feeling I don't want my pussy purified. Uh -huh. Get that blessed boric acid and get that purified pussy. <laughs> Is your pussy purified? My pussy's purified. Pure water. <laughs> Wop. <laughs> so oh. Is it tarot time, my love? It's tarot time, bitches. Do, 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 do. Wait, what's the music? I don't know. We don't know. It's some, tr it's some trippy shit May picked. <laughs> Just like May picked the Pornhub <laughs> sound <laughs> for <laughs> our Patreon. <laughs> so I never knew it was the Pornhub sound. <laughs> until a nigga told me. <clears throat> Okay, so today I picked the Four of Cups. Um, I feel like we've picked this before. Should we pick something else? No, this is what the spirits had you pick. You can't <laughs> fucking control the spirits, bitch. Bitch, I am the spirit. Exactly. <laughs> you picked it. Um, meditation, contemplation, apathy, and re-evaluation. The Four of Cups shows a young man sitting under a tree with his arms crossed. 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 <laughs> cross deep in contemplation and meditation he is so engrossed with his thoughts that he does not seem to notice the outstretched arm offering him a cup um uh, when the four of cups turns in, up in a tarot reading new and in, new invitations and opportunities are flowing to you but for now you're saying no and turning them away <laughs> perhaps the prospects do not interest you 
or your cup is full or you already have too much on your plate. Use your con con discernment to decide what is truly important to you and don't be afraid to decline new projects that don't align with your future path. The Four of Cups can also indicate a time when you are turning your attention and your energy internally to realign to this new phase of your life. You know that you need to be standing on, a ter on terra firma before you can decide your next steps. While you may need to decline some very alluring opportunities, you do so knowing you'll be in a better position to say yes to the opportunities that are better fit for you. You're creating this space within yourself so that you are ready to accept new opportunities later and give them the best possibility of success. Use this time for inward reflection, grounding, and contemplating before accepting the next big thing. Mm. That's crazy. I mm. I'm happy I read that because I look at you trying to block your tarot blessings. Listen, well, I was in Mexico. Me and Erica are in um, negotiations ish or conversations with you know an opportunity that we're probably going to say no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, where you know, like a year ago we would have said yes. Um, and in January when we had a we had a conversation with Samaya, I think we talk about being confident and getting comfortable saying no. Was that that episode? Mm -hmm. And. I've never been so comfortable saying no. I'm like, girl, bye. <laughs> girl, bye. Try again. Um, but because we're really confident of like what we're doing, our brand, like there's not there's not a lot that will um, like tantalize us because we know our worth, even if it seems like a lot. It's If it's not what we want, then it's not it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's like very accurate. And um, I also feel like, this is, I've said this before, but like this is an epic turning point for our, our business and for us and to like personally. And um, we are moving really fast, really, really fast. And honestly, I, we are magic women because I really don't know how we're maintaining all of the shit that we maintain. And um, saying like to realign and like, you know, our cup is full. <clears throat> it's fullest. It's fullest. Fullest as fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I could cry like all the time just about like how full my life is right now. Like, God, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. busy, but I'm so happy. In fact, this morning uh, we were listening to um, we we're listening to um, what's Beyonce's little sister? Solange. Solange. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Orlando, I was like, oh, this is a good album. And he and I was thinking about where I was when that album came out. And I was like, oh, it was 2016. I knew exactly what year it was because I knew what I was going through. It was like the year, it was literally like around the time I broke up with my baby daddy and he actually moved out. And I was like elevating out of that space. And I remember listening, like, you know, certain albums bring you Trigger. to a certain place. Mm -hmm. And then um, Orlando and I just cuddled and stood and hugged for one song. And I was thinking about where I was and where I where I am and like just how happy and full I am to have like this supportive, loving relationship like in you in, in Orlando and just like how I had to end that in order to be here in order to like that was really like had that not happened, I would not be here, you mm -hmm. know, and just like really evaluating the growth. And I cried while we hugged and then it's so normal we cry so often together that I just wiped my tears and kept on getting dressed <laughs> yeah I mean I think you I mean for those listening that are like in a period of trying to decide to if they should walk away from something that isn't serving them yes yes absolutely you should because you won't receive the blessings that are on the way if you do you literally just continuously block them every year you decide to stay and do some shit that you know does not feel good. Every year, girl. Every fucking year. And you'd be so surprised once you like rip the band-aid off how the universe like um, conspires to assist you in your evolution and in like beautiful shit when you stop entertaining toxic shit. Um <clears throat> there's this quote that I saw on the internet the other day. It's really it's and it, it just like I don't know, it just made sense to me immediately. And it was the past is a place of reference, not residence. Mm. Right? Yeah. 
Like, it's a place of reference. It's not where you're living. We don't live in the past. We have got to move on so that we can invite healthy love, so that we can invite abundances, abundance in our business and in our life and with our children and all those things. Like, we have to. Like, we have, we have to use the past as a point of reference so that we can make better choices now, presently. Yeah, literally. I was just referencing, like, what I was allowing in that relationship and, like, Literally, had I not experienced that, I probably wouldn't have been as grateful for the relationship that I have. Mm -hmm. And like maybe have not recognized the blessings, you know, like so for sure reference. And like you got to go through some shit to like be grateful for the for the new shit and mm -hmm. to know like that ain't it. But this is mm -hmm. and it feels uncomfortable because, you know, I watched you get really uncomfortable with the idea of committing to Orlando. Like you try to talk yourself out of it 400 million thousand times on the phone with me. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know he said, I know he's telling people he's moving and he's not. No, 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 no. He is, he is a little bit, but like, you know, his aunt lives around the corner, so. <laughs> he's not sending all of his luggage to my house, to my, no, 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 no. <sighs> on that note, can we smoke real quick? We can. Because um, I do have a hoary that I want to share from, um, one of the ladies in our Discord. Oh yes, it's it's smoke o'clock. I've been smoking backwards. I know, and it's not like I. You know, I love blunts. First of all, everybody knows I love blunts, and I suddenly I started smoking honey. Is that why the fuck there's this, why the fuck is there this big ass thing of honey here? I want to show you something. I must been sitting here and I meant to ask you. I was like, why does Jamila have the biggest pint of honey because i got to show you something okay so i rolled my back lid as i usually do and then i'm adding like just a dab of honey wait wait i don't can you dab with that like that's a that seems okay. like a lot do you want to help me i don't i'm okay the professional i'm just going to put a drop okay just got to just got to <laughs> get it out just okay hold on just give me a second here is this how you do it at home i have a smaller honey container at home wait maybe i need that what? No. I can't. Why are you doing that? What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> what the fuck was that supposed to do for me? <laughs> I was trying to help you. This wasn't, this is, I don't know. Okay. Want me to put the, the honey from the floor that you just scooped up from this dirty ass rug? It's not dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe put your finger in it. Just dip your okay, finger. Okay, okay. This is not the office, honey. It's totally sanitary. I just washed my hands. It's very <laughs> thick. Okay. Oh, this is so sexual. Wow. Who knew backwards could be so sexy? Oh, it's sexy, all right. Do this in front of your nigga for extra special. Oh, are we getting close-up access of this? We need to get... just, just, just dab it. Just dab it a little bit on the surface here. Just slight. Just a slight dab. This looks delicious. It's gonna be so. I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna eat this. And then, mm. oh, and then you put it all the way around. Mm -hmm. mm. This feels very witchy. Like this is how you're gonna trap a nigga. It's like mm. a witchy spell. Like you a want a witchy spell? spell? <laughs> put honey on your boo. <laughs> put honey on your weed. When you're breaking down the weed, think about the love you're gonna have, and then just put the sweetness over the blunt mm. and seal it with your saliva, mm. and then give it to your nigga. Never leave. <laughs> While you're at it, just rub some pussy juices on there too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Rub your pussy, break down the weed <laughs> Wait, <hold on>. with it. <laughs> I don't want to give you my pussy juices. Are you already here to stay? So. <laughs> so yeah, I've been putting honey on all my backwoods, helping them seal. So it helps it like. I think it probably helps burn slower too. It burns huh? slow. Mm. It's fucking delicious. I can't wait. Let's light it up. As you can see. A this is ASMR. <laughs> we or you know people already got mad at us like three years ago when we ate during an episode. I know that's they like came for us. Like I really like them, but they chew really loud. We have like free. It's like when our kids were three. We, that's the only time we could eat. Um, I made Orlando watch a YouTube on how to roll backwards so he can roll them for me. It's wonderful. I watched him watch it. Okay, can you like um, this fucking honey is everywhere. Use it. Use don't use a gallon package of honey. Just use a regular size. Wow, personal. Please. Thank you, honey. <sighs> Today we're smoking a um, THC hybrid. Mm. 
You like that? Ooh. You like that? Damn. Oh my god. Yeah. It's sexual. I know. That's my cognac dipped in honey. Oh, this is back the with. Yeah, this is the cognac oh god, dipped in honey. Right. Who believes smoking can taste so delicious and be sexual and make me hungry all at once? Me. Look how slow it's burning. That's a slow burn for you for a grown and sexy woman. Ooh, hold on, I gotta do the O's. Ready? This is like I'm an experienced smoker, guys. That's called the trap your nigga spell. <laughs> Maybe that's that's not nice. Like, how about like the sticky honey spell to keep your nigga next to you? Ooh, you always should show off because you know how to smoke pretty. <laughs> oh, anyway, <clears throat> it's Hori time, guys. <clears throat> Oof. Hori time. So I don't know if you guys have joined the Discord yet. If you haven't, it's time. It's time. The Discord is popping over there, okay? We popping have, is an understatement. It's really an understatement. Like, I, I I can't even keep up with the chats. They're like, I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? They've had like 40,000 conversations before in, in one day before I've come in and I'm like, wait, I'm lost. I'm late. Well, did you hear about Dick, Deep Throat Thursday? What? Yeah. They're I'm making th Thursday? What? They make it. <laughs> there's a whole, there's a whole calendar in there, but I can't keep up. But Deep Throat Thursday is a thing. Are people getting like they're taking pictures or just I put it, deep I put it I, I wasn't deep throating in the picture but I just put like I heard someone there was sound someone was sucking dick and they had the audio it's probably deep throat Thursday yeah it might have been well we have a like we have a special channel just for women where we send each other it's called yoni power yoni power where we just send like nudes you know but just be nasty and all the like twitters when um dick pics leak if you know what I'm talking about you know the watermelon persons yeah. Wait, why did speaking of watermelon person, <laughs> why did I group chat in our our group chat today? What's that big head? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm um, breaking news. He agreed to send us all the OnlyFans content early. So if you join Discord, you might maybe get the early content too. I don't know. Yeah, I never know. Okay, so this Hori is straight from the Discord. This is a freshie. <clears throat> Okay, the ladies were talking about morning wood in the Yoni Power thread. So I wanted to share my little hoary about the silent morning sex being explosive. It's like I couldn't hear any sound, but I could somehow feel the sound inside of me. Ooh. Now sensory deprivation play is definitely something I plan on exploring. Oh, then she said that we've probably already dabbled into this. No, we haven't. We have not. Have you, dab have you dabbled into sensory deprivation play? No, but you know what? Orlando was doing this thing in Mexico where he was... He wanted to eat my pussy every day for 30 days. Mm -hmm. It basically did, but he was putting his headphones in and doing it to like some music. And I was like, does he not want to hear me moan? And then I was like, whatever, whatever works. I don't care. Does Orlando have Capricorn in him? I don't know. We got to check his chart. It's got to be Capricorn because there's a lot of scheduling happening. He has to have some type like, of land like in there. One, yeah. Monday, you make decisions Tuesday. Then there's like 30 days of pussy eating. There's like a lot of. He's a little OCD. Okay. Thank God. I kind of stumbled on it because my ex snored like a fucking bear. So I started sleeping with earplugs in. One morning, he pulls me on top of him while I'm half asleep. I kept my earplugs in and my eyes closed, feeling him kissing my neck and squeezing my ass and rubbing my pussy. He had been irritating the fuck out of me that night. So I wasn't even trying to submit to him. But the physical sensations of his strokes were so euphoric. Dude, mm. this sounds bomb. I started moaning uncontrollably, uncontrollably, and even my low moans sounded crazy intense. As I felt my own moaning and heavy breathing reverberating. Is that a word? Reverberating? She sounds smart. I think reverberating it is. in my head. David said it is. I couldn't even play like I wasn't loving this shit. I started kissing him, and even our lips smacking felt explosive in my head. Wow, imagine this on mushrooms. I'm getting one of these on, and went on my way home. <laughs> <laughs> he let out a little mm, and it vibrated down my throat. Mm. Keep in mind, I still have my eyes closed and earplugs in. He smacked my ass, squeezing my cheeks and whoo, child, I burst, gushing all over his dick, collapsing on top of him. I felt his goatee graze my shoulder as he was talking, but heard no words. I could only focus on the throbbing sensations pulsing between my legs and our heartbeats feeling in sync. Oh. So beautiful. I'm going to cry. I want to do this immediately with Soulmate Bay. He then proceeded to wrap his arms around me, holding me tight and jackhammered the fuck out of my pussy. The hurt emoji. Plus, <laughs> plus the devil. I felt like an earthquake shaking through my body. Mm. I was holding onto the mattress for dear life. Eyes squeezed shut. <sighs> ripping the fitted sheets off. Then I feel him bite my neck. His signal. 
he was about to come, which sent chills down my mm. spine. Oh my God, I'm getting turned on. Me too, I love a bite neck. And neck us bite. both exploding at the same time, we broke my motherfucking bed. Oh. But I couldn't even be mad. Nick literally rocked my fucking world. Best morning dick ever. I was in such a happy mood at work all day, humming and shit. <laughs> Wait, was that the... Uh, even the co-workers was like, yeah, she got some dick that night. <laughs> the end. Wow, that was beautifully written. Now I'm buying earplugs. I'm getting earplugs immediately, <laughs> but I'm not seeing my man for a long time, so I don't know. Maybe, like, masturbating? And, like... You can hear your own moans more. Maybe you'll pay attention... <laughs> You can hear your own moans more, even if you're doing well masturbating. Yeah, maybe I'll, you know, I'm tap into this alone first and then explore with the partner. But damn. Damn. Okay. Hori. Oh, wait. Um, speaking of Hori's, I have one more. Oh, okay. Um, no, a yeah, you did share like three. Did, wow, this is a juicy one. Give them all, boo. Give them all. Um, so those of you who are just joining us, you should go back and listen to an episode um, from, I believe it's January 20. 21 and um i discuss briefly the blood play that orlando did and that's probably in addition to this trap a nigga honey blunt <laughs> these are the things that keep you a man get you a man and keep him he um really wanted to do blood play and he put his initials and in blood on my chest and you know i realized it is really a spell so i was like listen nigga i know we're bonded for life since you put your blood on my chest but at some point you got to put my blood on your chest but i don't want to cut myself so <laughs> In Mexico, stumbled upon my period. Not stumbled. <laughs> stumbled. Stumbled in, stage left, my period. And I was like, perfect. So, um, obviously, I have sex on my period. Nothing. You're a grown-ass woman. Periods don't stop any shows around here. Some people don't like it. But if you get B vitamins, you will. True. Um, so, I was riding him, and then I, like, lifted up over him, and I, his dick was like throbbing and like erect underneath me, dripping in menstrual blood, blessed from Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and I pulled up my, my fingers like this. So all the blood came to the top. And then I put my initials on his chest in blood. And then we just like had sex, ravaged sex. So basically I completed the spell. Now it's complete, it's full circle. Full circle. Got it. He's never leaving. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that's beautiful. Thank you. Either people are either grossed out or turned on. I, I don't know. It's probably 50 50, I would say. Listen, it's not, not everyone's going to like what you like. I know that. I'm yeah. just giving you some ideas in case you want to trap a nigga. <laughs> Orlando's obsessed. He is. I've seen it. He literally stares like this at you when you're talking. <laughs> like, literally, like, like it's like a movie. <laughs> like a little kid at school in love with his little crush. Look at him. Look at him. He's doing it right now. He's literally <laughs> rocking back and forth. <laughs> I've seen him do it. <laughs> I wish I was filming this. Fuck. God. Oh, oh my God. It's adorbs. It's, it's fucking adorbs. Love it. Two spells. <laughs> Two spells. Oh my God. Okay. Well, does anyone have an, do you have an affirmation? Should I, should I share an affirmation um, from Discord? The Discord? Please. We also have a, like, won't you share all the channels in Discord so people understand what's popping over there? Okay, so the channels are Find Your Tribe. That's where the, the people meet up to introduce what city they're in and they hang out. We have General, which is just for everyone. And are there guys there? There's, I feel like, a we have like an OG dad, um, Anthony. And then, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of women. I don't know. Then we have Horries, of course. Then we have the episode recap where we talk about the weekly episodes. Then we have Vent where people are like, bitch, this nigga tried to fucking test me today. <sighs> I'm in there a lot. I can't tell. <laughs> um, then there's a girl, guess what, where we're hyping bitches up because we got to celebrate one another. Affirmations where y'all have some bomb ass affirmations. I'm actually going to share one from the Discord because I'd be running out and I'd be needing inspo. Then we have manifestations where we're all collectively helping each other manifest certain things in our life. Because if you and Mila have listened to, you know, previous episodes or just us talk about manifesting, even with our retreats, we definitely know and believe that manifesting in groups and when you have people also putting power behind whatever you're trying to manifest, it's really powerful. So 
there's that. And then we have Yoni Power, which is our private channel where we share naked pictures and sexy shit. And also pump and each other up. It's women's only. So niggas don't try to penetrate the Yoni. We'll know. We know. We'll know who you are. Well, yeah, it's private. So we have to be accepted. Then we even have channels for our tour. So you guys, we have a tour coming up. We're going on fucking kitty, tour. Kitty, kitty, out. If you want to book us for club appearances and shit, um, just call us because we can come to the club. You know, just give us a bottle and a little check, and we'll be there. (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's your commercial for for our club appearance. Ever since we did our first club appearance, (laughs) can't tell me shit. So only we can only book a second one. We had our first club appearance in DC. Can't tell me shit now. Okay, I'm a fucking rapper. So Um, (laughs) we are going on tour. The tour is called, of course. Good moms gone wild. Yeah. Because bitches need to come outside and get a little crazy. And who better to come to is us. We'll lead you. If you're having a hard time coming outside and if you're already a champ, girls gone wild, good moms gone wild, then please come. We'll be in New York. We'll be in Chicago. We'll be in D.C. We'll be in Atlanta. And Philly. And Philly. Yeah, make sure you click the link in this episode description to find out the dates, to click the links, get that VIP so we can take a picture. They're all at the end of September, and we want to see you. Um, And also, don't embarrass us. Like, come see us. Yeah, don't embarrass us. What the fuck? Please come see us. We want to see you. I'm really excited to do Philly. You Um, know, I'm like, I'm going to call every cousin I ever had. Like, remember me from when I was five? No, I'm really excited about New York. A, because you know how much I love New York, but it's so crazy. One of my friends, she's a Reiki healer. You know how every time I go to New York, I get sick? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> she was like, you always get, a th- I told her, I was like, I always get like this throat infection in New York. She's like, you need to go do a podcast show out there. There's something in, you're blocking. There's something blocked. So I'm really excited. I feel like I have to go to New York and do this. And like, I have so many people out there that are going to come support us. And I just like, <sighs> And then Atlanta, because that was our first show we ever did. It was our second show. I mean, our first show we ever did outside of L.A. Yes, I'm really excited about that, too. And if you haven't heard that episode, bitch, you got to listen to that episode. But it was a real thing. It was a struggle. It was. That episode was epic storytelling, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. I, things I, happened. I, I need to go back to that. A lot of uh, the dating of a married man happened. The fucking b- negotiations of getting our shit, but because I was married and also trying to get my dress out of storage oh right you have to listen to get it it's just it's one of those what is it called i don't know what year was that was that 2019 18 we did it we did it it's 2019 2019 yeah it's in it's around october november it's october of 2019 Mm -hmm. so go back (laughs) find it Anyway, I can't wait to go on tour and meet everyone and party and turn up and have a good time. We're going to have dope guests and us. It's going to be great. And yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I hope you guys come out and see us. Um, Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, we're really excited to see you come out. And this is the affirmation. This is the affirmation from our Discord. If you haven't joined Discord, click the link in this episode description and you can join the Discord and your affirmation can be featured. This is from someone that I love actually in our Discord a lot. She is, she came down a retreat. She's dope. Um, I am constantly evolving and it is okay to release things that no longer serve me without guilt. I, I am constantly. Wait, can I, do I need to find it? I am constant. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> that was high. Can you, okay, let me read it again. <clears throat> can you do it in parts? I am constantly evolving. I am. <laughs> I am constantly evolving. And it is okay to release things. And it is okay to release things that no longer serve me without guilt. That no longer serve me without guilt. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. That's a really good one. Yeah, we often feel like guilty about elevating oh my god it's true it's I was, so I was having true this the other day i was like wow people have people have been removed from my life throughout my elevation for a reason whether it was like on their own doing whether it was my doing i realized like and some of that i have felt guilty about actually there's yeah there's a few that i feel guilty about but i know that it's for my highest good that I have to honor Mm -hmm. in order to keep allowing the things to come through because you'll get tested on like your new boundaries all the time and my, your new evolution essentially. And it's it's up to you to kind of keep it in check. 
And sometimes I'm like, I don't, that person does not forgive me. That, that person does not need my forgiveness or deserve my forgiveness. I forgive them, but that doesn't mean that they need to be back into my life, you know? And you'll be like, I'll do this to myself all the time. Like, well, time has passed. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal, the thing that happened. They didn't show me. They did show me who they were, but like, you know. Yeah. It's like, you, they, they did. And so, I don't know. I think that that affirmation just kind of speaks to that of just releasing things that no longer serve you without guilt. And you know how hard that is for me as a cancer. Uh, like, it's so hard for me. But like, also elevating and knowing, like you said, everyone is not going to go where you're going and that's okay. Everyone doesn't deserve your time or energy. And like someone messaged me, someone I know for a long time, just sent me this like negative video, like me minding my business, like about this girl talking about, um, Oh, like a lot of y'all are not going to get married because you want to have a hot girl, hot girl summer and you mad when people who are ready come in like basically why like certain type of women are not going to get wifed. And I was like, why the fuck was this like, I don't give a fuck about you. Like, I love you because I've known you for a long time. But then I was like, do I? And I responded some smart ass shit like whatever. I was oh they're like I was like that's I'm engaged. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back and he wrote all this shit and I almost read it. And then I said I'm not about to read this. Laugh out loud, sent it and blocked him. <laughs> and usually I would go back and read it. And I was like why you are fucking doing what the fuck are you doing that I give a fuck about your opinion and whether or not I get married, bitch. I am so happy and elevated and that it's gonna constantly be as I like as we evolve. And our lives are moving so quickly. And how, like, I listened to an episode that we did, it, like, uh, with Harder Soft, like, three months ago. I was like, whoa, I was really chill. I wasn't acting like a crazy bitch at all. Because I don't, I'm a different bitch than I was three months ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, evolving so quickly. Like, so I have to release, like, whatever this weird guilt I have about, like, holding on to people. But, like, everyone is not going to be on your level. Not everyone can stay. Leveling up is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Level up, bitches. Oh, my God. Level up. Cues up, Sierra. Level up, Sierra. Up, level up, level up, level up. <laughs> one, All wait, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Okay. 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 <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, we're going to go now because it's getting out of control. Um, we love you. And uh, make sure you review this episode. If you're listening on Apple Podcast, please rate and review us. We need those reviews. And make sure you go join us on Patreon. The link is in this episode description. When you join Patreon, you also get access to our Discord. So you're welcome. And you get to see the bonus shit you didn't get to see on this episode on Patreon. So if you want to see the clip of Mew <laughs> in Orlando in love doing animalistic shit, make sure you join Patreon. Bye. Bye.